Hey guys, welcome back to What Is She Cooking? All right, so listen, I know it's been a long time since I did a cooking video, but you guys know I tried the vlogmas thing. Huh. I told y'all I didn't know how it was gonna go. I tried. I did a, I did a good like for one week and then I said, maybe not even one week. It was probably like five days. But anyways, we're back. I'm ready to give you guys some more food. I had people texting me like, what's going on? Like, what's up with what is she cooking? I'm like, oh, y'all love me? You love me or whatever? So anyways, we're gonna be doing something awesome today. So it's really, really cold. I think it's like 38 degrees outside. And that's, that's real cold for me. But I was like, if it's cold outside, then what better way to make something really awesome? My friend Nicole had requested like in August to, for me to make soup. And I was like, mm, it's August, it's Atlanta, it's hot. No, nah, not gonna happen. But I'm gonna make stew today. I'm gonna make a beef stew and it's gonna be so yummy, guys. Like, I just can taste it. Now, I have never made a beef stew before, so this is gonna literally be me going off the top of my brain, trying to create something awesome that you guys can create as well. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping this stuff up, but before I do that, I wanna tell you guys what you're gonna need, okay? So, you're gonna definitely need some beef chunks. You can find this at Kroger's Publix. Wherever your local grocery store is, you can find these beef chunks. And uh, a lot of times they can have them on sale. Sometimes it can be a little expensive. But this was just seven bucks. So it's like $14 for two packs. Um, you're going to need some potatoes. Now these are uh, golden potatoes. You will not need this whole bag of potatoes. Now be my guess if you just feel like making that many potatoes. But no, you will not need this whole bag. But it was only $2.99 for this bag. So I wasn't about to buy a few potatoes when I can get a whole bag. You know? Then you're going to need some carrots. Yummy. Who doesn't love carrots? I absolutely love carrots um, in my soups and stuff. You can also use like a bag of frozen mixed vegetables like with the corn and uh, green beans and stuff like that. I did not want that in my stew, so I did not buy it, okay? Get it if you like it. If you don't, then fine. And then also, um, you're gonna need some fresh thyme. You're gonna need some fresh thyme. You can get this also in the produce area. You can buy like thyme that's the seasoning. It won't taste the same, I promise you. So get your get you some fresh thyme. And then also some fresh bay leaves. Do not use the bay leaves that come over there in the seasonings. Get some fresh ones, okay? Also, you're gonna need some onion. You're gonna need some all-purpose uh, flour. This was gonna got, kinda like make that gravy. And then you're gonna need some beef broth. Now, I bought some tomato paste because, I don't know, I just feel like when I put a little tomato sauce or tomato paste in my soups, it just makes it more hearty-like. So. That's what I'm using. I think I told y'all y'all need a whole onion. But yeah, this is all the things you're gonna need. It's not gonna run you, shouldn't run you more than 30 bucks. Super easy, it's gonna make a lot and you can share it with your friends and family and it's gonna keep you warm, baby. Cause baby, it's cold outside. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys so what i'm doing is i'm peeling the carrots i'm gonna kind of i'm shaving them and then i'm gonna go ahead and chop them up next i'm gonna peel the potato skin off and then as i finish peeling i'm gonna cut it into like squares as well you don't want it to be too chunky so get them into like nice medium size shape and then i'm just massaging them and mixing them up next i'm gonna cut the onion This is the way Angela taught me how to cut an onion because she said I was doing it wrong. So I'm getting trained as well, guys. Now I'm going to add some oil to the pan so I can start cooking the meat. As I'm putting the meat in the pan, I'm going to also season it because I don't want to put too much salt. I want to give it time to cook and then add if I need to. I'm just sprinkling a little salt, a little pepper. And then I'm also going to add some cayenne just to give it a little spice. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the flour so that we can create our gravy. And I'm going to add it to the Dutch oven. I'm going to add some more oil to the pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that onion. I'm going to add in the carrots and the potatoes. And I'm just going to mix it up. Put a little salt and pepper on it. And some onion powder. But like I said, not too much because you don't want to overpower your uh, vegetables. And you remember, you uh, already seasoned your meat. So you don't want to do too much. Now here, I'm just chopping up some gar uh, garlic cloves because I decided I wanted to like mince some garlic in there as well. 
Now I'm gonna mix that all up into the pan. I'm sorry, the pot. In here, I'm gonna uh, start measuring out the beef broth, but I realized it's already four cups, so you don't even have to measure it. Just pour the whole thing in, the whole quart in. And then you wanna add your tomato paste. Now that you added your tomato paste, you just want to go ahead and start adding the Horchester sauce. But mix it up. And after you mix that up and get it stirred in really, really good, you want to go ahead and add that fresh thyme and your fresh bay leaf. And once you have that all mixed up in there and set, you go ahead and put it in the oven. You have to put it in the oven for two hours and 30 minutes. All right guys, so I have this beautiful stew right here. I'm gonna scoop some and put it in the bowl. I'm gonna keep my oven mitt on because it's pretty hot. But it looks super, super yummy. So I'm just gonna take this bowl. I'm gonna take the spoon. Give me a nice big scoop of it. Ooh, it's hot. Look at that. Whoa, that looks amazing. And there you have it. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Beef stew. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys for this video. I'll be back with the second part of this video soon. All right. Keep God first and all that you do. And I'm out.